Hello everyone and welcome to video number 8 of our web developing tutorials. In this video we're going to look at directory structure for our web application and we're going to be organizing our files a little bit better. Let's see, if we pull up that directory, just go to the desktop and open up our web dev folder. In the web dev folder we have all of our files and typically you wouldn't want to organize your site that way because before long you would start having a lot of files in one directory and it's not very uh, efficient way it's not a very efficient way to organize your files so right off the bat a couple of things that we can throw into their own folder would be our images and the CSS before we jump into that let's, let's look at these files there's no extension listed in, in Windows by default to enable the file extension so that you can see them in Windows 7 click on the organize button and come down here to folder and search options and then click the view tab and then uh, we want to unhide extensions of known types so just uncheck this and hit apply so if you notice now the background has the dot jpeg on the end the highlight has the dot png and we have our html let's create some folders to put the, the images in and our style sheets so let's right click on the inside of the folder here click new folder and let's name this folder images and let's do the same thing right click new folder we'll just call this uh, CSS so now we just need to drag these files we'll, we'll start with the the images and you can hit shift and click or sorry control and shift will do a whole bunch but uh, control will let you individually select files so hold the control button down and click each one of the image files and then let uh, let go of the control and click drag the files into the images folder and we can just drag the CSS file into the CSS folder now if we go back to our web browser and refresh it you'll see that there's no style on the page and the image link is broken so we need to fix that and the reason that this is all of a sudden broken we have no styles or anything on the, or images on the on the pages because the location of the style sheet and the location of the images has changed in relationship to the HTML document. So let's go back to our editor. First of all, let's, let's change the style sheet location because it's no longer located in the same directory as the index.html file. It's in a CSS folder. And to show that or to make that happen, we just simply type CSS in a forward slash that says that the site.css file is inside of the CSS folder relative to this document. So the document sitting in the web dev folder, the index.html file is sitting in the web dev folder, and there is a CSS folder in that same folder. And we can just link to the, the site.css file within that CSS folder that way. And if we refresh, we'll save this and refresh. Our styles are back, but our, our images are not. So let's go ahead and fix that by going here and typing in images forward slash images forward slash on our source as well that gives us that tells both the link and the image itself that the the image source is inside the images folder and save that refresh you'll notice that everything is back except for our little background image on the back of the page and our highlight image that was on the the heading and that's due to the fact that the CSS file is inside of the CSS folder now and the images are not in that same folder so let's go open up our CSS file, which is now inside of the CSS folder. And this image location here, the, the one that says background.jpg, this would work if the image dot, if that background.jpg was inside the, the CSS folder because it's relative to the CSS file itself. What we have to do is tell CSS the actual location of that image relative to that site.css file. And since that site.css file is in the CSS folder, we have to tell it to look at the parent folder, which is use the, the double dot to indicate the parent folder, and then forward slash images. 
And basically all that's saying is go to the parent folder, look at the images folder inside of that parent folder, and then get the background image from there. So we save that and refresh the page. Now we have our background. So we do the same thing with our highlight. Simply use dot dot for the parent directory, forward slash images, and then save that, refresh it. Now we have our highlight. So all this is doing is going to the parent folder and looking at the images folder inside of that. And you have to visualize this in, in the folder hierarchy. Uh, we'll do that by changing to the details view. We're in the web dev folder. Our index.html file is inside that web dev folder. So what it sees is the web dev folder. That's the root of this page, you could say. The images folder is inside that root. The CSS folder is inside that root. So if you wanted to link to an image from the index.html file, you have to tell it that the file is inside the images folder. If you want to link to the CSS, the style sheet that's inside the CSS folder here, you have to tell index.html to first look at that CSS folder and then get the file from there. So if we go back and look at how that looks here, see we are looking inside the CSS folder and linking to the site.css file that's inside of that folder. In our images on from the index.html, we look at the, the images folder, and then we get that image from there. Because the index.html file lives in this web dev folder, it's already in the root. But when we are sitting inside of this CSS folder, we can't link to the images as we do from the index.html, because this, this file lives in another folder. We first have to tell it to go to the parent folder, with that dot dot and which is basically saying go up to the web dev folder and then look inside the images folder so that's what we're seeing over here dot dot goes up to the parent directory or folder and then looks inside the images folder which lives inside that parent folder and then grab the background.jpg from there i hope that makes sense and that's all we're going to cover in this video i just wanted to touch on how to arrange your, your files a little bit better and how to link to files relative to the document that you're you're linking from and we've got one more video for html before we start heading into php and i want to start php early because there's a, a few things that we want to i want to start doing with it but in the next video we're going to cover a very in-depth subject called divs about divs and divs allow you to really change your document look quite a bit and it's a great thing to use for laying out your document, and it's very versatile. So we'll start jumping into divs, and we'll probably talk about spans as well. And then after that, we'll be ready for our first PHP lesson, hopefully. Now, during these these videos, I'd like to also point out that you should, you should be practicing what you learn here. Probably the best way to do this is to watch the video all the way through one time, and then go back and watch it again, but then do the code as I'm doing it. And that should help you be more familiar with what we're going to do before you do it. And then if you need to go back and reference it again, go ahead. But uh, doing it you should definitely go and, and, you know, perform everything that we're doing as we're doing it. It'll help you get accustomed to everything. But this is by no means a complete reference to HTML. This is just an introductory to get you going with it. And we're, what we're doing is we're leading up into uh, starting out with PHP. And when we go into the PHP tutorials, we're going to be using HTML elements that you haven't seen probably here, or you haven't, or we'll be using CSS in a way that you haven't seen up to this point. But it'll give you uh, more information about the things that we're learning here. That's the reason we're going ahead and going into PHP after this, uh, after this next video, just to really get you using it. Mainly the way that I'm trying to teach this is that you get in there and start using it and there'll be things that you'll see that we haven't covered and if that's the case there's plenty of resources on the web and I'm available to ask any of that stuff if you if you need to if you have a run into a roadblock or something and you need help with it all you have to do is ask and, and we'll try to cover that if we have to we'll cover it in another video or we'll just answer it straight out so hope you enjoyed the video and please watch the next one and we'll be finishing up our html and uh, or at least finishing up the introductory to html and then we'll go into php and it's going to be great it's going to be fun so uh hope you enjoyed and please subscribe